Hello, my name is Brian Patrick with Pseudo Consulting, and I'm an Iron Speed MVP consultant. Today I'll be discussing the performance tuning menu option under the build menu. In order to demonstrate what the various settings for performance tuning will do, I've gone ahead and used the application wizard to generate an application with a Southwind database products table. The default is for ASP.NET and IronSpeed to store the view state information in the page itself. What this means is that the view state information is sent along with the page contents every time a user views a page. This has the benefit of, of always working, but it makes your page size quite a bit larger. We'll show you. If I run the application, and view the source on this page, you can see how much of the view state information is taking up for your page. Some estimates are that the view state information stored this way can be anywhere from 30 to 50% the size of the page, depending on the complexity of your, your page. Another option is to store the view state information on the server itself. If we select session from the performance tuning menu option and then run our application again, we get the same page, but if we view source, you'll see that that large view state hidden variable is no longer there. The size of the page is quite reduced. Instead, there's a simply a view state key that tells the server where the information is stored on the server. A third option is to store the view state information in the server's ASP.NET cache. This is similar to storing it in the session variable, but there are more timeout options. A fourth option is to store the, the view state information in a file, in a temporary file, on the server. If we go ahead and, and run our application again, and select view source, you'll see that now it tells us that this, the, the view state information is stored in this temporary file on the server. This has the benefit of not sending that huge view state information to the browser and back and forth on every post back, but these files will be remain on the server even after the user closes the page or closes the browser and must occasionally be deleted or else they will take up the space on your server. The last option for performance tuning is to select to store the view state information in a database. If you choose this option, you must provide a configuration that tells it which database to store your view state information in. As with the file, you must occasionally delete the view states from the database or else they will continue to grow without end. As I mentioned before, the view state information stores information regarding the controls on the current page. The more complex the page, the bigger the view state itself. I've gone ahead and switched it back to showing the view state information for the page. If I go ahead and run my application again, and then select the edit record page for the first record, this is a simple master, page, master and child table and I view the, the source for this page, you can see how big the view state is. Here's the view state for this page.
Thank you for watching this video. Next to good database design, the performance tuning options under the build menu are the one thing that you can do to increase your website's performance.